Welcome to the channel. So today's video is going to be covering the Honeywell Home RTH 6580 WF Smart Thermostat. The WF stands for Wi-Fi Capable. It can be used with Google Assistant and Alexa as well. So I have other videos covering factory reset, full programming of the device, and the setup menu. Okay, This video is only going to be covering how to manually override, which is a common question. Now, there's two ways to manually override this device. Uh, I'm going to assume that you know what all this means on the screen. This is going to be your indoor temperature, and here is your heat setting. So right now, this device is set up to be a programmable style thermostat, and you can see that by this right here. It says set clock day and schedule. And as you cycle through these functions here, you'll see that cooling and heat is available and off. So we're going to leave it on heat. The first way of manually overriding is simply clicking your up or down button to manually changing the, the heat setting here to what you want. So we'll go to 72. And this will hold until 6 p.m. as you can see here. Now this is according to your default programming that you've set up in the device. This can be changed. So you basically right now temporarily temporarily uh, did a override and it's going to go until 6 p.m. And then after that, it's going to go into its own default programming, which could be whatever it's set to. So another way to override this is to hold it. So if you want to hold it past that 6 p.m., we'll go ahead and click hold. Now you're going to see a bold hold show up on the screen. Now that's going to hold it permanently. It doesn't care about 6 p.m. anymore. As you can see, it, dis it disappeared and it's showing the current time. Now this is if you want to just set it for one temperature for say a day or two. Uh, if you're going on vacation or you're going away for the weekend, you can manually hold that a hard hold for indefinite time until you come over here and hit cancel. So if once I hit cancel, you'll see this disappear. Okay, so it disappeared, and now it's back into its normal program schedule. So those, there's those two options there for your first type of manual override, like I showed you, temporary, which is just simply clicking up or down to the, the set point you want, the heating setting. And let it be till 6 p.m. Or you can hit that hold, and it's going to hold it indefinitely until you come and change it yourself okay and then there's another way of manually overriding this thing and making it operate like a manual thermostat non-programmable now in order to do that we have to go into the setup menu which we can simply hold down the fan and hold down the up button and wait now this is going to take you to the setup menu i'm not going to go over in detail what this means and what it does and what each thing um will do but I will show you exactly what I'm talking about. So scroll over to 16 on this device. Whoops. And number one is going to be program schedule on for your seven days. Okay. Now, if you select zero, it's going to turn this thing into a simple, manual, non-programmable thermostat, which might be helpful for some people. Um, and once you do that, we're going to hit done. And as you can see, over in this tab right here, the clock and the schedule uh, display text disappeared. Now we have a completely manual thermostat. You're just going to manually set it to what you want, and it's just going to stay there now. It's not going to change no matter what. Okay, And you don't even have the hold function, as you can see. So this is just a simple, basic thermostat now. Literally two buttons. That's all it is. Actually, well, you can still change over from heat, off, and cool. So there's no more auto changeover once you're in the manual type setting. So let's go back to heat. And let's uh, explain what this, this fan button does. So we have two options here, auto and on. So you want, really want to be and leave this thing in auto because it will automatically change with the system as the heating and cooling is uh, desired and it gets called on into function if you leave it on on 
This means continuously on. You do not want to leave this on in this way. So it should never be in the on function. You should always have it in auto, no matter if you're heating or cooling. Always set it to auto. That's the proper uh, setting for that. So now we have a manual thermostat. Let's go back into a programmable thermostat state. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go ahead and hold the fan button in the up button together and wait. Go back to 16 to bring it back to its original configuration. And hit 1 for the, the right-hand side here character. And then hit Done. And now it's going to ask you to set your clock and your day. When you do that, you just hit Done. And now it's back to being a programmable thermostat. So that there is the two different ways of manually overriding your device, as I showed you. One being the temporary hold and the permanent hold function, this button right here. And then the other was completely turning this thing into a manual thermostat, as I showed you, by setting uh, a function 16 in the setup menu. So I hope that, guys, um, helped you out in um, understanding this thermostat better. I do have other videos on factory reset, fully programming it, as well as factory reset of the device and the setup menu and, and everything else. So check those other videos out if you're interested. But I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.